Hello and a very warm welcome to Old Trafford, the home of Manchester United, which stages the prestigious, glamorous friendly between last summer's World Cup finalists Argentina and Portugal. Well, straight away, let's have a look at the two teams. Argentina, seven changes to the side, which won 2-1 in last week's friendly against Croatia at West Ham United's Upton Park. Only Messi, Mascherano, Di Maria and Ansaldi retain their places. Coach Tata Martino taking the opportunity of using as many of his squad as possible in this final international of 2014. Portugal, four changes to the team that won 1-0 at home to Armenia in last Friday's European Championship qualifier. Beto replaces Rui Patricio in goal. Bruno Alves comes into defence for Ricardo Cavallo. Well, Lionel Messi has lost his Ballon d'Or crown, of course, to Cristiano Ronaldo. And will be hoping to retain it when the glittering ceremony arrives again in Zurich in January. But this man, in the eyes of many, is currently unassailable at the top of the world game. But both he and Messi. Messi again. Lovely little ball to Di Maria! And only just wide for Mengel Di Maria. Set up from Messi. Just a little cute pass here from Messi. Into the stride of Di Maria. And the game's opening chance falling to Di Maria and Argentina. Leo Messi. To take on the debutant Thiago Gomez, Bilia looks for Messi again. Flag stays down. Oh, and right across the face. It was such a, an acute angle. He just couldn't find the back of the net. But that little burst of acceleration from Lionel Messi. How often we've seen it onside. Pepe playing him on. May just have touched off the near post of the goalkeeper. Better will see it from this terrific angle. Yep just came off the post and he was close here's Messi running at Thiago Gomez and Caglia arriving to his right another good run from the fullback and Pastore Marbeto equal to the Javier Pastore header but again, Facundo Roncaglia doing well, the right back. Just seemed to slightly lose his feet there, Beto, but it was a relatively comfortable stop in the end. Moutinho collects the header nicely for Basingua. There's Jose Basingua, he's in behind Argentina here, excellent ball in. Taken up the toe of Ronaldo, but he's there again, Ronaldo! And it's over. Well, he was twisting, turning, almost sending Billia out of the ground. But couldn't hit the target. Pusingua in behind the left side of that Argentina defence. When Caglia did enough to hold Ronaldo up, he still got his shot away. And the first sight of goal for the prolific Cristiano Ronaldo. Argentina breathe a sigh of relief. His eyes would have lit up when Pusingua produced the earlier cross. Old Trafford lights up to 
mobile phone cameras can be seen all around the stadium as Messi delivers but over thrust his head back in slight disappointment there got some velocity in the shot but not dipping had it been on target I think Beto was covering it Nani Di Michelis in charge it's quite a heavy back pass there and then it's uh, out of play via Otamendi it was a nervy moment for the goal into space here for Di Maria the stretch here Portugal Higuain's offside flags already up Mike Malarkey had that flag raised very quickly and they had a two on one here just didn't hold his run Higuain it's a correct decision from Mike Malarkey the assistant but really looking at decent run this making inroads into that Portugal defence Nicolas Gaetan here's Ansaldi Di Maria lifted the atmosphere at Old Trafford a shot on goal and Saldi with the setup here for Di Maria struck it well with Beto in the Portugal goal always dealing with it Mascherano good run here from Gaetan that's an excellent effort from Nicolas Gaitan. Lovely ball, this though, from Mascherano. Speared onto the head here of Gaitan, who was onside. Just coming on the blind side of the young fullback, Rafael Guerrero. Beto always hoping it would travel wide, and it did. Tevez. Silva. Good ball in. Gaitan was just trying to lunch. But this was the cross that was delivered here by Jonathan Silva. And Gaitan, look at that, just trying to flick it over his head. And a decent attempt. Spears a terrific pass. Pass of the night. Not a bad take either by Koresma. Into Ede. Well, that's so much better from Portugal. We've really been flat for most of the evening. What a pass from Bruno Alves. Wonderful take as well from Charisma. And Eder was sniffing his first senior international goal there. No joy. A long time in coming. Space now for Silva. Oh, it struck Eder. Turns into a pass for Charisma. Free header! Portugal win it! And it's Rafael Guerrero! And a wry smile passes the lips of the coach, Fernando Santos. And what a moment for the 20 year old Rafael Guerrero. He bought a ticket for the raffle and wins his debut only last Friday against Armenia and the left back from Lorient in France stoops to conquer and Portugal surely have won it a thrilling moment for that young man What an introduction to senior international football. Almost looks. There's no time for the comeback. Rafael Guerrero, the toast of Portugal, their first win over Argentina for 42 years. And it came in stoppage time. Only getting his opportunity because they're so short of left backs. But he's made quite an introduction. And this only his second senior cap tonight. 
ter muitas dificuldades em passar para, para além da zona de meio campo. Portugal na mão de cima, agora um remate de Adolfo e é o primeiro gol da partida. Gol de Portugal, Adolfo tantas vezes lá foi no apoio ao seu ataque a fazer o 1 a 0 aos 36 minutos, um remate rasteiro ao canto mais distante, guarda-redes Santoro batido sem remissão, Portugal passava para a frente do marcador com toda a justiça, diga-se, perante uma Argentina sem soluções atacantes e a fazer milagres lá na sua, no seu setor recuado a sofrer um gol apenas aos 36 minutos, foi, foi obra, de facto, não ter sofrido antes, e depois contra a corrente do jogo. A Argentina empata o jogo aqui neste remate de Brindisi, dois minutos depois, um lance algo confuso ali na zona central, e o ação. Estamos já muito perto do intervalo, de novo Adolfo a solicitar bem o seu companheiro, e o remate agora de Eusébio, a fazer o golo 2-1 para a equipa portuguesa. Resposta imediata também de, de Portugal, mesmo a fechar a primeira parte, eles iam aparecer ali, depois de mais uma iniciativa na esquerda de Adolfo, e a fazer o 2-1. Portugal voltava de novo ao liderança, mas até que ponto é que a equipa da Argentina poderia de novo chegar à igualdade e colocar em xeque as aspirações da seleção portuguesa. E Portugal uh, tentar não se deixar impressionar e a procurar marcar ascendente no terreno, cá está Jordão, remate, a bola ali a passar em frente e depois o golo, é um golo de Diniz oportuníssimo, a bola a passar em frente da baliza à guarda de Santoro ninguém a tocar na bola e a aparecer na esquerda Diniz, a aproveitar-se da de deficiente marcação do seu adversário direto, Wolf e a remate...